Uploading and managing your files has become even easier from Moodle 2.3 onwards with the introduction of drag and drop and the new file picker. To add a file, you can turn editing on and simply drag the file from your computer onto the course page. Another way to add files is to click the Add an Activity or Resource link and choose File from the menu. Add in the file name and description. Then in the content area you have two choices. Either drag the file into the box with the blue arrow. Or click the Add button to open the Moodle File Picker. If you choose to use the File Picker, you will have some options depending on the settings of your Moodle site. To upload a file from your computer, choose Upload a File, then Browse. Once you have found and selected the file, you can choose to rename it on Moodle, change the author, it will put your name here by default, or the license. If you do not want to change any of these things, you can simply press Upload this file. Depending on your Moodle site's administration settings, you may see different options for how your file is displayed. For more detail on what each of these options does, click the little question mark by the setting. Most files, such as Word documents, Excel files and often PDFs, will need to be downloaded to the participant's computer and opened in the relevant program. So unless you know each user's browser and computer settings, force download or new window can be the safest options. You can choose to show the size and type of the file. This can be useful for students who are viewing Moodle on a mobile device or using mobile broadband. If the file is large, they can choose to download it when they're on wireless instead. Don't forget to go to the bottom and click Save and Return to Course. If you wish to add multiple files, the best way is to use a folder instead. From the Add an Activity or Resource menu, choose Folder. Give your folder a name and description. In this content area, you can add further subfolders to organise your files. If you zip a folder on your computer and upload it here, you can unzip it in the Files area. All your files that you zipped up will then be here without needing to upload them individually. It may be worth deleting the zip file once you have unzipped it. Click Save and Return to Course to save your changes. Deleting or updating files is simple too. To permanently delete a single file you've uploaded, make sure editing is turned on and click the Delete symbol, usually in the shape of an X, by the file. You will be prompted to confirm. Once the file is deleted, it is deleted from Moodle only. Moodle cannot delete files from your computer. If you delete a whole folder in this way, it will delete all the files within that folder too. Be careful. To delete a single file within the folder, 
or simply update an existing file, either click the Update button or click the folder and choose Edit underneath the list of contents. Click the icon of the file you wish to delete or update. Then click the Delete button. Again, you will be prompted to confirm your decision. When you click OK, the file is deleted. If you are updating the file, you can now upload the new version either by dragging and dropping or by clicking Add and using the File Picker. Note that changes will only be saved if you click Save at the bottom. If you don't save, files you delete or add while editing will not be deleted or added.